uh, Allison had heard an emergency announcement. They said the person was like breaking up or something. Turn that down. All right, am I echoed? Nope. All right. Hi, everybody. Oh my gosh. It's been like four or five days since we saw you last. So, parents, a couple things. Um, if you notice, there was a lot of curriculum in this week's curriculum. What I decided to do is instead of going back and doing like kindergarten week three, I thought we'd just go to where a typical kindergartner would be right now, which is in kindergarten, like roughly week 29. So um, I tend to go a little overboard and make and make and make and make and create all this kind of stuff. So there's a lot of stuff in there. So you'll notice that it says Tuesday and then those are the activities we're gonna go over today. My light's not on, um, My light. Tuesday and my, and then you'll see extra. So just be careful while you're printing because if you don't wanna print the whole thing, there I am. If you don't want to print the whole thing, you don't have to. We're going to be going through activities, but I do want to tell you that the activities that you can print are great things to do on Mondays and Fridays if we're not going to be like in session or to do on the weekends, or if your kids are really getting into it, um, they can do those extra activities as well. Um, so don't feel overwhelmed by the amount of stuff. I was kind of overwhelmed. I'm the one that made it all. Um, so we might not do Writer's Workshop every day this week. Um, I'm going to try to do it once a week just because I've kind of modeled it a lot um, anyways. But before we get started, the one thing that we are gonna start doing this week is shout outs. Meaning um, every day we feel like it'd be really great for your kids um, to be able to get shouted out and recognized. And um, I can't see any of them that are on here and some of the names are different on the iPad. So what every day will remind you, but what we need you to do is in the chat, write your child's first name, and Mr. Andy's going to like list about 10 of them. And then tomorrow, either myself or the other teachers that are working are going to find a way to like integrate their names. So make sure you come back on tomorrow. All right, are you guys ready? There's a lot to go over. Um, we're gonna do the literacy story. Oh, parents, if you're still having trouble finding our stuff, just so you know, if you go into Reading Corner online, you go into Karen's Picks and you go into preschool, you're gonna see this. It's gonna say kindergarten week five. And this is where you're gonna print everything out or you're getting our free curriculum this week um, from lauren.trc123 at gmail.com. This will be the last week of the free curriculum. You can either get, um, at this point then, you can do the $8.99 for the month or $50 for the year. And we will be doing this all summer. Also make sure you are following Reading Corner online because I've been doing giveaways um, and there's a really great kindergarten level giveaway this today. So it started around noon. I'll pick a winner around 12 o'clock tomorrow. Okay, so what we're gonna be using today is we are going to be doing this activity, but I'm gonna give you a couple minutes because if you think this is overwhelming for your child to actually write all the words, you can make another copy of these and just cut out the words and then your child can build the sentence while we're writing it. So that we're gonna do that for activity. We're gonna do this literacy story today. We're gonna do a blend activity. So that's the one, it's, it should all be in order. Um, we're going to do the bubble gum and there is an extra one of these in the extra section so that you guys have those um, if you want to practice a little bit more. And then um, there's a CBC activity, which I didn't um, pull out of there, but it should all be in there. Okay, so I wanted to kind of show you as parents, but also as kiddos, that there's a way that I kind of unpack literacy stories that aren't the normal literacy story, meaning it doesn't just say the same thing on every sentence. 
because we're kind of used to that right now, right? Like I see a cat, I see a dog. And some of you are reading on a higher level. Just so you know, we do have literacy story and sight word cards and word phrase cards on our website that go all the way up to like uh, middle of first grade. And they're, they're really great. And they're super cost effective because they're kind of like five cents a book because your kids, you know, at this level read so much, but let's get into this. All right. So there are three different types of sentences in this story. So guys, if you have an, a highlighter or a crayon or something like that close, we're going to, I'm just going to show you how I would do this. So the first sentence is always going to be what we start with and I'm going to read it and then we'll read it one time together. So it says, some people sit on a beach chair. Okay. Now I want you to read that. Some people sit on a beach chair. Okay. Now the next sentence says some people like to. So do you see how the sentence is kind of changing? So when I don't want it to kind of trick me, I go ahead and I just color the words that are different, that make that sentence a little bit different. Do you see the next sentence? There is a word that's different than either of the words in these sentences. Starts with an M, mm, a, s, t, must, yeah. So I'm going to color that in. All right. The next one is just like that second sentence. Do you see the two words that are different? L-I-K-E, like. And there's that little tricky one, to, ooh, because it sounds like we put a U, but O oh, actually can say ah, oh, ooh. So it doesn't trick us. And then the next one's the exact same. And the next one also is that like to again. Okay. So this is what I would do just so the kids can really like get comfortable with the different sentences. What we're going to do before we read it though, is we're just going to go really quickly through and um, look for some two letter phonograms. So everybody point to the word beach in that first sentence. Do you see a two letter phonogram that says Yeah, it's the CH. Just so you know, the EA, that's what I'm going to introduce tomorrow. It says EFA, that's actually a two letter phonogram as well. Okay, look at the word chair. Do you see a two letter phonogram in the word chair? If you do, underline it. Yeah, it's that ch, k, sh. And you guys don't know this one yet, but AI actually says A, never found at the end of a two letter, no. A, never found at the end of a, of a word. I'm saying that wrong. So you remember how the ER says er, most common boss ER, and we're like, why do we have to say that? The AI, this one says A, never found at the end of a word, because there's a Y, like in play and stay and tray. A Y is always found at the end of a word. AI is never found at the end of a word. Okay, just a little like tip. All right, let's look at the next sentence. Oh, I see the word chair. Actually, I see the word chair in the next three sentences. Do you guys want to go ahead and underline that CH? Okay, now let's look at that third sentence. So count down. One, two, three. Do you see the two letter phonogram that says E in the word wheelchair? And if you do, underline it. And WH actually says, so you can underline that too. Do you see, this is why we practice funny phonograms because they like to hide in our words so we don't see them and then we don't know how to say the words. If we underline them, we're, we know they're there and it really helps us to sound out the words. Okay, the next one, I see the word this. Do you see that word this? What would you do to that word? Do you see a two letter phonogram? Yeah, it's the TH. And if your kids are just joining us, if you go onto our YouTube channel, I have a phonograms movement video that you can do all the phonograms. We only learned about 15 so far in this actual class, but you can go learn those um, a little bit faster. Now, this is also a trickster word. What do we do to trickster words? Yeah, we circle them. Okay, and I think that is all of them. So. We're gonna go ahead and read this. Now that we've kind of seen some of our funny phonograms and we've cut, colored the ones 
that are a little bit different. So I'm just gonna read it and you're gonna follow along. But remember guys, after our class, you can go ahead and read it again. And at the bottom of the kindergarten stuff, I told your mommies and daddies all about those awesome book charts I was talking about and I put a book chart at the end. So you can start, every time you read a Lotus and Story, you can put a book chart, a sticker on your book chart. Okay, let's get going, ready? Some people sit on a beach chair. Some people like to sit in an office chair. Some people must sit in a wheelchair. Here's one that's mixed up again because I've got it highlighted already. Some people like to sit in this chair. Some people sit on a bicycle. And some people like to sit on a sled. And I lost my sled. I don't know what happened. All right, so keep that. I always encourage you guys to keep all of your literacy stories. Put them in like a, a folder or a binder in plastic sleeves. So when you have some free time and you wanna to try to get that goal on that book chart, you've got books that you can read because we've already gone over them. Okay, we're gonna start working on our blends again. And I notice this one's missing the picture too. I don't know, someone took one picture from all my little baggies. I don't know what happened. All right, so first of all, I see a lot of two letter, I see a lot of trickster words. Take a minute in that first sentence, Actually, most of these are all, but take a second and underline all the trickster words you see in that first sentence. It's kind of crazy, guys, because they are all trickster words. L-I-K-E, like to play with, M-Y says, yeah, my. And if you want to afterwards, you guys can put the, um, underline the two letter phonograms. If you guys did that, I would let you put an extra sticker on your book chart. So you got to work on that with your mommies and daddies and see that. I like to play with my truck. Okay. I want you to try to sound it out and write it. And you don't have to put all the letters right now. Just sound out the blends. Listen, truck, t, er, t, er. Okay, so if you put a T and an R. Okay, now watch my fingers. These are the last letters. A, uh, K. So do you notice that I put my two fingers together? That's showing that I have a two letter phonogram that goes there. So the letters are gonna be A uh, and then K, two letters. Mm, do you remember what that two letter phonogram is? If you put a U and then a CK, and if you underlined the CK, kiss your brain. All right, let's see the next one. You can go back afterwards and underline and circle, but we're gonna just keep moving because I wanna get the actual lesson done. But like I said, if my kiddos came to me with all the two letter phonograms underlined and all the tricksters, I would give them an extra point on their book chart. Okay, I love to mm in my bed. Hmm, what do you think that's gonna say? I love to sleep. Okay, try it on your own, but if not, I'm gonna help you. Listen, watch my hands. S-l-e-p. S-l-e-p. It's a lot of letters. Let's start with the first one. S O L E. What two letter phonogram says E? Yeah. E E. P. And if you underline that two letter phonogram, kiss your brain. You guys are doing so great with these. Okay, the next one says make sure you. What's that little girl doing? Floss. Yeah. Okay, watch my hand. Ready? Ooh. Ah. Did you hear that ending? Ooh. Ah. It actually has two S's at the end. How silly is that? Okay, let's try it. Start writing with me. 
F, U, O, A. So it's the A, O, U, which is the O. And then what did I say? There were two what? S's. Awesome. Okay, let's read the next one. You guys, do you remember I talked about just like a minute ago and our last week how there's that er most common boss ER, E R, and it's because it's the most common, which means you're going to see it the most. Do you see an er most common boss ER in this sentence? Yeah. Look, sister has an ER, and let me tell you a little secret. A lot of times. You guys have, like when you write like water or butter or brother or sister, you most of the time write just an R. So if you guys can start learning that most of the time when you hear an R at the end of the word, just put an ER because it's probably the right two letter or uh, boss ER. That's why it's called er, most common boss ER. Okay. Today, my sister can... Hmm, what do you think that word's gonna be? Crawl. Okay, watch me. K -er -a -u. Now do those first letters first. It's k, k. Watch me. K -s, which is the one that says k -s. Remember we talked about the C says k -s. The K says k. And the CK says k. Two letters. So if I do then what letter is it? Yeah, it's the C. K -er. Okay, I'm gonna give you this one. This is a two letter phonogram you guys have not learned yet, but that ah sound is like ah when you see a baby. It's A W. So go ahead and write that. A. And remember, we talked about with our W, it looks just like what I put on my finger down, up, down, up. Crawl. Ooh. Awesome. And again, I would keep this and I would put it in my literacy story bundle as well as all my literacy stories because it's a really good reading. And then you could put stickers. I only give kids two times to put stickers for each activity. So like for this activity, you could do the activity. That's one. And then read the activity. That's the second. Now with the literacy story, you can read the activity, the literacy story. That's one. Then you can read it again. And that's two but you can't put more stickers than that. Because I've had some of my friends that'll put like 20 stickers because they read the same literacy story 20 times. And I'm like, that doesn't work. Okay, today, I see a lot of AYs if you want to circle them. Today is the day I hmm, clean. Okay, this is a tricky one, listen. K ooh, e mm. Now, you're going to want to put the EE. -E. We just talked about this two-letter phonogram in the word beach. It's actually E-A, and it says E-F-A. -E so watch me again. K -u -e -u. Okay, let's see. K -k. It's the K. -s. Do you see why those movements are so important? K. U. E. E. A. So what two letters did I say it was? Yeah, E A. Mm. Good job. And if you underline that E A, kiss your brain. Okay. We're gonna leave the other two for you to do on your own because I want to get moving on to some of our other activities. So what you can do is you can finish these off. Your moms and dads can just kind of help you sound out the words. And then you can go back and underline the two-letter phonograms and do the tricks or words. Okay, I have actually never done this activity that I'm about to do with you. I made it, but I've never done it. So you're gonna have the CBC um, card in front of you. And this is a little tricky because I noticed that in my directions, I say, of course I'm not gonna have it in here. Um, to pick a CBC card and they're not in there. So that's fine for the way we're gonna do it. What I would do if I were your mom or dad is I would actually, um, oh, I'm missing my whole chart. Is um, Morgan or Jen on yet? Oh, you know what? 
I'm going to wait because I want to do this activity the right way with you. We have this other activity we talked about. Remember, it's our sentence activity. Okay, so parents, again, if this one's kind of hard because they have to write it, remember, you can always make another copy of it and you can um, cut out all the pet pieces and then they can just put it back in order. And then maybe afterwards they can try to do it. So I notice in this sentence that, Miss Karen made a lot of little mistakes. Do you remember why I, I know what word is the first word in a sentence? What does it always have? Yeah, a capital letter. What word on your page paper has a capital letter? C-A-N, can. All right. So I'm going to look at it, and then I'm going to try to write it without looking back at it, especially since it has that little jingle, C-A-N, can. Okay. Can. And then I cross it out. Hmm. Can help me, please. Can you help me please? Now that makes sense, but look at the sentence and tell me why that wouldn't make sense. Because, oh no, yeah. Because listen, the word that has to be at the end of the sentence is the one that has the punctuation mark. What punctuation mark do you see in that sentence? The word me. Sometimes if I feel like I can squeeze it all in, you guys, I go ahead and write that word. So now I know it's going to say something like can da, 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 me. Can Y O U says. Yeah. You. Y O U. Good. And you notice on your paper that you have these little dots in between your words. And the reason I did that is when I started working on this with my kids, I would notice that they were still squeezing everything together. So their challenge is to try to get those words within the space that is allowed on it. And I even moved the dots around enough to where I thought I would give you enough space. So you should put can and then kept the word you in those two dots. Okay, it's kind of a challenge, but I think you can do it. Can you please, oh, this is a big word. You might have to look at this a couple times, or you can do like I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go P-L-E-A-S-E. -E. Do that, P-L-E-A-S-E. -E. Try to write it, P-L-E-A-S-E. Okay, did you get it in there? Make sure you try to get it in with the last two dots. Can you please, there's only one word left. Point to the word that is left to finish our sentence. Help, you're right. H-E-L-P, H-E-L-P. I try to put a little jingle so then I can read it. Okay, let's try it. H E L P. Okay, good job, you guys. Um, okay, let's look at the next one. What word do you think is going to be first? And why do you think it's first? Yeah, it's got a capital letter. Which of those words has a capital letter? Okay, write the word look. It's oo. Ooh, k, ooh, uh, k. And you know there's a two letter phonogram in there. So think about what you have to do. Underline it. Now, what word do you think is going to come last? You can cross out the word look. Yeah, the word made because it has what? A punctuation mark. All right. Mm, a, d. And you know, it is a little bit easier to do that with these activities because remember, I'm already giving you the dots. So like the word look goes in here 
and the word made goes in here. So you can probably figure out the rest of that sentence on your own. Look. Now you could say, look what he made. Look what he made. That's a sentence, but there's still the word at. So it can't be look what he made. And with these kind of activities, it's really important that you sound out the sentence before you start writing, because then you might be like, oh, I forgot one. So I think the sentence is gonna say, look at. Go ahead and write the word at, but maybe make sure you go start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down, t look at what. Now watch the word what. It's got that W-H, a T. So you know this is a two letter phonogram, just like in the world word wheelchair. So think about what you're going to do once you write it. Did you underline it? Great job. Look at what, and what's the last letter? Word. He. Look at what he made. All right, you guys get a do, did a great job. I'm sure Miss Jen is on um, at this point. So what we're going to do is I sometimes try to leave just one or two of them for you to figure out. So we're going to move on to math, and then you're going to come back, and we're going to do this CVC activity and handwriting. So we still got a lot to do, but you guys are doing such a great job. Why don't we stretch for a second? Can you guys stretch? Everybody stand up really, really tall. Mr. Andy's looking to see if you're standing. Stretch to the left. Oh, stretch to the right. Touch your toes. And wiggle, 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 wiggle. And remember, if you just joined on, make sure you write your child's name in the comments so that we can call out and do some shout outs tomorrow. Okay. Hi, Miss Jen. Hi, friends. Hi, everybody. Okay, so today for math, we are going to do bubblegum addition activity. So for this activity, you guys will need um, two activity sheets. Okay, the first one is an activity sheet with bubblegum machines and the little bubblegums, there's yellow and red bubblegums in them. And then the second sheet is going to be the bubblegum addition where we're going to Back to the sheet where we're going to write down our numbers and our answers. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our number one. So if you have that sheet right now ready, if you have your activity sheet ready, put your put your finger on number one. Okay, we're going to do number one together. So that's the one where we're gonna fill out the numbers, okay? So in the bucket right here, I have these sheets that I showed you, the gumball machines with the gumballs in it, the yellow and red, and I have them all cut up and I put them in this bucket. So I'm going to pick out of this bucket one of the gumballs, okay? And we're gonna do it together. We're gonna do two of them together and then I'm gonna switch it up a little bit, okay? So, up here I have my gumball machines and here I have my gumballs. So, I'm gonna pick a card. You guys ready? My first card, let's look at the first card. All right, how many, let's look at the yellow ones first, okay? How many yellow gumballs do you guys see? Can you guys show me with your fingers how many yellow ones? And if you have the card, see if you can find this one. How many yellow ones? One, so I'm gonna put one yellow gumball in the gumball machine, in this gumball machine. The red gumballs I'm gonna put over in this, in this gumball machine. So how many? Red gumballs, do you guys see? Maybe you know, maybe you know four and three, what that makes. Or maybe you have to count by ones and that's okay too. Let's count, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how many gumballs am I gonna put over there, friends? Show me with your fingers.
fingers. How many? I'm going to put seven. So I'm going to put seven gumballs over here. One, two, three, four, five, ooh, six. And it's all right if they're kind of outside the mix. Seven. Great. So look. I have how many yellow? I have one yellow. So guess what? I'm gonna write one right here. Right underneath where it says yellow. Put one. And one is straight line down. Then we're done. That's the way we make a one. And then how many red did I have? I had how many? How many red gumballs? Seven, I had seven. So I'm gonna write the number seven where it says red in that box. Across the sky, down from heaven, that's the way we make a seven. So maybe you know one plus seven and what it equals. But if you need a little bit of help or you want to do it a different way that's okay too up here we have our numbers and what we can do is remember when we use the number line how we always start with that first number so what number are we going to start with on our number line up here number one and we're going to go over seven spots so ready help me count one two three four five Six and seven. What number do we end in? What number did we land on? Show me with your fingers. Can you show me? What number? Eight. I see it. We landed on eight. So we're going to write one plus seven equals eight. With eight, we make an S, but do, but do not wait. Go back and close the gate. That's how we make our eight. So one plus seven equals eight. Awesome job, friends. I'm gonna take off my gumballs right now. And we're gonna do another one. So I'm gonna keep this one. We already did, so I'm gonna keep that right down here. And we're gonna do a new one. So we're going to do two of them this way, and then I'm going to change it up and see if you guys can get, can find the missing numbers, okay? All right. So here I have my, oh, I have it. Ready? Oh, let's see. I'm going to pick one. Look at the one that I picked. What did I get? How many yellow? How many yellow are there? Show me with your fingers. How many yellow are in my gumball machine? Four. So I'm gonna put four yellow gumballs on my, in my gumball machine. Okay, so I have four. So I could write for number two, I could write four. Let's do that right now. Ready? We're gonna write. Ready to write? Let me see your pencils. Ready? Ready? Down and over. Down once more. That's the way we make a four. Good job, friends. Okay, now we wanna see how many red gumballs do we have in there? How many red? We have four. I see fingers up. Awesome job. Kiss your brains for saying that there's four. You guys did amazing. So guess what? I'm going to put four red gumballs in, the, in this machine, in this gumball machine. Ready? Four. So look. So I have four. Where am I going to write it? Where am I going to write? Am I going to write in the yellow or am I going to write it for the red? The red, right. So we're going to write four again. Ready? Let's see if you remember. Down and over. Down once more. That's the 
the way we make a four. Awesome job, friends. So now we have to see four plus four equals, so what's the total? How many gumballs are there all together now? How many? Oh, I see it, I see friends holding up their fingers. Eight, awesome job, kiss your brains. You guys are so great. Eight, so let's see our, how we write our eight. Let me see your pencils ready. Let me see your pencils ready. So it's, Make an S, but do not wait. Make sure you close the gate. Good job. So that's our eight, four and four make eight. All right, are you guys ready for, for a trickier one? Are you guys ready? Thumbs up if you're ready for a trickier one. This time, I'm gonna pick a card, but I'm not gonna show you what that card is. I'm not gonna show it to you. I am going to just tell you how many yellow um, bubble gums there are, and you guys need to tell me, and I'm gonna tell you that how many there are all together, and then you guys have to find how many red ones there should be. So I'll show you, you ready? Oh, I have my basket, I'm gonna pick it out. You ready? Oh, let's do this. Okay, I have my card. I'm not gonna show you, I'm just gonna let you know this is what I'll do, that there are two yellow. So this is what I want you to do right now, you ready? You're going to write a two. We're on number three right now. You're going to write a two in the yellow um, box. Ready? For number two, go right around. Okay, so for number two, go right around. Then make a line across the ground. So there are two yellow. And all together in the card that I, that I picked, in our gumball machine, there are five. So we're gonna skip the red box, so skip the red box, but write the number five in the total. Let's see if you guys can get this. This is a little harder, but you guys are super smart, so I know you can do it. Ready? Go for number five. For five, go down and around. Then you stop, finish the five with a line at the top. So we're missing, how many reds should there be? So there's two here, I'll write it up here, see. Two, and we're missing this number, and it equals, Five. So what should that number be, do you think? <gasps> Who thinks they know? Let's see. One way we can figure out is you can go to two and we want to get to five, right? Let's see, how many hops do we have to go make to get to five? Let's count. One, two, three. Who thinks that there's th there should be three? Red gumballs. Thumbs up if you think there should be three red gumballs. Oh, if three is missing, let's see. You ready to see the card? Oh, you guys are right. There are three red gumballs that we're missing. So our number that we need to write for the red is three, and I'll write it right under here, and then we'll write it in the box. Ready? Around the tree, around the tree, that's the way we make a three. So I'm gonna write two plus three equals five. Awesome job, friends. Kiss your, kiss your brain. All right. 
Now I'm gonna go down, we're gonna do four. We're gonna do it the same way. Are you guys ready? I'm gonna pick a card and I'm gonna tell you how many yellows there are. And I'm gonna leave the red. I'm not gonna tell you how many red gumballs there are, but I'll tell you the total. So the whole amount that they're supposed to be. Are you guys ready? Oh, yeah? All right. Let's see. All right, let me pick the card. Ready? Oh, let's see, let's see what card I pick. Ooh, here we go. This will be a good one for this. All right, so I'm gonna let you know right now. You ready? There are five, five yellow gumballs. So five. So how many gumballs am I gonna put in here? How many? Five, I see some fingers. Good, show me that I'm gonna put five. Good job. So I put five, so there's five, okay? Missing the red gumballs. But the total number, the amount of gumballs that are all in this gumball machine are six. Are six. So, who thinks they know how many red gumballs there should be in there? Let's see, can you show me with your fingers? How many do you think? We have five and we are we are missing some here, but the total is six. We have to get to six. How many? Oh, I see it. I see one. I see the number one being held up. Good job, friends. Let's see if we're right. Are we right? Is there one gumball missing? Wow, you guys did awesome. I think it's gonna put that one gumball on there. And I'm gonna write Remember, straight line down, then we're done. That's the way we make a one. So we wanna write this though in for our number four in our boxes. Are we ready? Ready for five? So we're gonna put five for, cause how many, are, how many yellow are there? There's how many friends? There's five. So get your pencils ready. Ready? Go. Down and around, then you stop. Finish the five with a line at the top. Okay, so we wanted five plus what? One, ready? So we're gonna put our number one in our box that says red. Straight line down, then you stop. Okay, and then number and five and one makes what, everybody? Makes six. Roll a hoop and make a loop to make six. Awesome job, friends. Okay, we're gonna do probably about one or two more. We'll see how much time we have, okay? All right, thank you, Miss Jen. I wanted, um, boys and girls, since we have only about 10 more minutes, I want you to go ahead and we're gonna try to just do half the activity so that you guys have something that you can do independently. So what do we say to Miss Jen? Say thank you, Miss Jen. Okay, so get that paper out that looks like this. We're just gonna do a couple of these because I think this is a really great activity for you to do with your parents as well. Um, so this is called Silly CVS DAP. I know it sounds kind of, a lot of words, silly CVS step, and so, or CVC. So basically what it is, is it's those three letter words, like the consonant, vowel, consonant. So what it says on it is to choose a word card, and the word cards aren't in here this week. I'm gonna have to make sure that they're in there for ne this next week. But this is what I'm gonna do, and this is what I think you guys should do at your house as well. I'm gonna say a word, you're gonna find it on your paper, and then we'll go to the next step. So my word is w -i -g. Point to that, w 
ig. Yeah. And if you notice on your paper, the only letter that's missing is that middle sound. It's kind of hard. What sound do you hear in the beginning of, in the middle of wo, i, 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 i? It's not e, e, e. It's i, i, an i. So you need to dab on your silly dab card an i. Now, parents, what you can do is you can make another copy of these and cut them all out and put them face down and you can play the game with them. That's really how it was intended for our classroom. So like you would both have a silly CVS dab sheet. You'd pick a card, you'd see that it was like a missing eye, you'd color an eye. And then whichever one got a line covered first, one. So we're playing a little bit different today. So you're gonna go on your silly CVC dab and you're gonna color in one of the eyes. Okay, my word is rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
stickers on your book chart, okay? The next letter is a T. So notice usually we don't go all the way up to the top of the T. So it's kind of like a middle, because you know how we go straight line or short line? It's more like a middle line down, touch the bottom line, lift your pencil, come up and make a dash. Now you guys try it right there. Middle line down, touch the bottom line, lift your pencil. Now, listen, before you do the next one, make sure you touch the bottom line when you do it. I see this all the time. You guys will be like, it'll be flying somewhere. I don't know where it's going. So you need to do it, so try it. Middle line down, touch the bottom line, lift your pencil, come up and make a line or a dash. Okay, we're gonna do one more, my turn first. Middle line down, touch the bottom line, lift your pencil, come up and make a dash. So now you're gonna make it on that practice one. Middle line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a dash, and then practice one more in the space next to it. Middle line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a dash. So I love these ones because it's like you get a practice one and then you do one on your own. And then you get a practice one and then you do it on your own. And then remember when you're done with a whole line, circle your best one and don't try to rush it because that's not what this is for. Okay, my favorite letter and we've got the A and you see where that green dot is on that A? Everyone look at the A. See where that green dot is? That's where you're gonna start, you guys. And you're gonna go this way. Watch me first. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down. Okay, now you try it on that A that's on there. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down. Okay, move over a little bit and in that blank space, practice one on your own. Listen, start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down. Okay. Now you see that there's the next A. Get your pencil on that, don't start it yet. Get your pencil on that green dot. Do it along with me. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down. Now move over a little bit and make sure you try to do your best A. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line down. Okay, good job. Now we're moving on to our M's. Watch me first, don't lift that pencil. I should see your eyes on me. I know what I'm talking about because I know how it always usually works in our, in our classroom. And I have some of my friends that want to go ahead of me. So watch. Short line down, come up and make a hump, come up and make a hump. Okay, so guys, put your pencil on that green dot. Listen as you write it. Short line down, come up and make a hump, come up and make a hump. Great. Go to the next space over there. Make sure you touch that bottom line, you guys. Short line down, touch the bottom line, come up and make a hump, come up and make a hump. Awesome, okay. We're gonna move on and finish our Gs, and then you guys can finish those on your own, okay? The G is just like that A. This is gonna be a tricky one. So watch me first. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, come past the line and make a hook. Okay, now where that G is, find that green dot and let's do it together. Little hook down, I'm sorry, start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, come down and make a hook. Okay, now listen, this is gonna be the most difficult one because just like that T, when you guys go to do it again, for some reason, your letters are usually flying. So you need to make sure that you're starting just at the bottom like we were before and you make sure you go past the bottom line to make that hook. Okay, try it. Start at two o'clock, touch the bottom line, straight line past that bottom line, make a hook. All right, good job, you guys. Whew, we did a lot of work today. So I try to make a lot of the activities leaving you with just a little to finish so you can have some independent work. And then if you want to do more, there are tons of really great activities in the extra area. Parents, if you aren't using the book chart yet, I highly suggest it, especially if you want your kids to go long, like the long run of this and use this all the way through May, they're gonna start getting a little you know, sick of it, but they, that motivation of that book chart is really gonna help them. I always incentivize it with like extra iPad time or 
If you do end up going to Target or Walmart, get some little trinkets like out of the um, birthday party section or something like that. And that book chart is going to want is what's going to help keep your kids motivated to continue doing the activities, especially this time, like this class is the most important to me because majority of your kids are going into kindergarten or first grade. And it's so important, especially since their schools are closed, that they have something long-term. So great day. I miss you guys. I will see you tomorrow. We've got our names for our shout outs and we're going to make sure you get on tomorrow. So you see if you're one of the kids that is going to be shouted out. Okay. Have a great day.